Hi. Sip of water. Drum roll, please. Okay. So, this video is just going to focus on um, me. First of all, me. <laughs> of course, me. Um, but it's just going to, like, run through the day of when I was announced by Victorian. Okay. So first, um, I woke up and I actually knew that I had an appointment. Like, they didn't tell me what it was, but it was like a Zoom meeting. And so I actually had a math placement exam for a college. So I had to do that first. And then tenía que estar pendiente because there was going to be flowers. Like, they said there was going to be flowers. Um, so then um, I had to wait. And um, while I was waiting, I did my makeup. So, you know, a little basic, little mascara, eyebrows, concealer, highlight, blush, you know, the works. And then I, and I took my exam, right? All right. I finished my exam and then, so I just finished taking like my math placement test and for UCSD and like I heard my mom talking in the background like oh my god flowers da, da, da. and I got these they're so pretty so blue and I don't know if it's supposed to be green or not but it looks green and white and the little vase beautiful beautiful and the bow and then a little ow a little note that says congratulations Valley Victorian from Director Rivero and your GPA family. After I got the flowers, I think I just waited till it was like seven, so I was just like chilling in my room. This is how that appointment went, and you'll be able to hear the good news. Hi, the Jesus family. Hello, Hello. 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 everyone. <laughs> well, thank you so much for allowing us into your home this evening. <laughs> so we wanted to bring everyone together today to officially announce that Jocelyn, you will be recognized as the valedictorian for the graduating class of 2020. <laughs> you have successfully maintained a cumulative weighted grade point average of 4.37 throughout the entirety of your ninth through 12th grades at Gompers Preparatory Academy. And you are academically tied for number one out of 137 graduating seniors. Congratulations. Well, I would love for the um, senior teachers to just say a few words. We'll start with um, Mr. Sturgeon. So I'm so proud of Jocelyn for all the hard work she's done wow. this year. Um, whenever I look for a positive role model in the classroom or just uh, a senior to uh, be a great example for even younger students, mm -hmm. I always think of Jocelyn. She's just, she's amazing. She's awesome. You raised a, uh, an amazing daughter. So oh, congratulations, thank Jocelyn. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Ms. Olia. Hi, congratulations. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Honestly, when the video came on, I started to cry. I was like, oh. Oh, look at the whole family there. This is so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> but just, I'm so proud of you. You've grown so much since ninth grade. I can't believe it's already been four years. And just, you're on to great things. So excited for you. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Olia. Mr. Ballantyne. Uh, hi, Jocelyn. Hi, family. Congratulations. Uh, you have accomplished so much so far. And if you keep working as hard as you are working right now, this is just the beginning. So congrats. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you Mr. Ballantyne. Ms. Ward. Hi, everybody. Hi, family. How are you? Um, I never actually had the pleasure to have Jocelyn in my uh, in my 
class in the whole three years that I've been following the class of 2020. But every interaction I've ever had with you has been very positive and, you know, you make us all proud. So congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Zhang? Um, I just want to say it's, it's been a long time since uh, Jocelyn was a sophomore um, in my class when I had her leading little sessions. And uh, even back then, uh, it doesn't surprise me to see her here now. Um, Jocelyn, you have such a bright future ahead of you. It's, it's crazy. So uh, just keep it up. Keep doing what you're doing because obviously it's, it's working. So uh, wow. good luck and I wish you the best. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Oh, gracias, gracias. Ms. Garcia. Ms. Garcia. Jocelyn, I'm so proud of you. Um, I actually didn't have Jocelyn in class this year, but I had her in class as a seventh grader. So it's been really amazing to watch her grow up and to just see her academics go from good to better to best, apparently. So um, just amazing job, Jocelyn. I'm so proud of you and can't wait to see what you do next. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Mr. Kelly. Hi, Jocelyn uh, and family. I just want to say uh, how proud I am of you for achieving what you achieved. You fully deserve it. Um, I've had the pleasure of having you in two class periods this year in AP Lit and in College Success. And tour across both classes, you constantly prove that you want to uh, improve every single possible way. Um, you're one of the hardest working students I've ever met. You never mm -hmm. fall back on your laurels. You're always pushing yourself to grow. Mm -hmm. um, and people see that. And on top of all that, you're just plain nice. You're just a, a nice person to have in class. You're nice to talk to. It's been an honor to be your tutor during this distance learning. It's an honor to see you through these last few weeks of your high school career. Um, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for you. So you fully deserve this. I hope you take a chance to celebrate. Um, and to uh, know that you are uh, loved and appreciated by all your teachers. So do good things. I'm very proud of you. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you, Jocelyn and family. On behalf of all of us at Gophers Preparatory Academy, we miss you. We love you. You are a blessing oh, to our school. Thank you. And I use that That's word deliberately with you because you are a blessing in your whole family. And we want to thank you on behalf of leadership and the senior team for all your support, all your love that you've given to us as well. We've learned as much from the De Jesus family <laughs> as you have learned from us. So thank you and congratulations, Valedictorian 2020. Thank you, gracias, thank you. Thank you. Yay! I'm really proud of that um, because that really means a lot to me. Um, one reason it meant a lot to me was because I actually have been working towards that my whole high school career. For since like ninth grade, I was like, ooh, I need to take the most AP, the most APs available because I wanted to have a high GPA, right? And another reason why it meant a lot to me was because my sister my oldest sister Leah, yeah, she went to that high school and she graduated 2013 and she was actually the valedictorian of her class as well so i remember when i entered um gomper sixth grade everyone well the staff um since they knew lydia they were like oh are you gonna be the valedictorian da, da, da. and i was kind of like i'm not gonna do that you know <laughs> like i really really didn't believe in myself i was like i can't do that that's hard um and i did it <laughs> um but it didn't come easy it really didn't i remember i think it was this year that i struggled the most to keep my grades up because especially in ap calc and bio because ap calc i took that class i knew it was going to be challenging but i also took it because i believed in myself and I remember going in after school, bothering Mr. Ballantyne all the time, telling him, how do I do this? I don't get this. And by the time it was time to take the unit test, I tell him like, I'm so scared. Like, I'm scared, I'm shaking. Like, I can't do this. I'm like, I am fearful because if I don't do good on this test, then my grade's gonna go like down. And I had previously already done the calculations of what grades I need to get. And for my senior year, I just needed to get uh straight a semester one and semester two and i was gonna be number one which 
was really exciting you know and i was like that's gonna be a lot of hard work but i know i can do it i know i can do it because i've been training since sixth grade even though like it's easy like middle school and all of that but ninth tenth eleventh like i was training i was working um i knew how to like what assignments i needed to do what extra credit to take um like when to come in after school how to ask my teachers like i was on top of that and so yeah going back to calculus um i studied a lot and like i mentioned i was always bothering mr valentine whenever like there was free periods i would go to his class and like ask him how do i do this like me and a friend would always go right because sometimes it is a little intimidating to like go by yourself and ask a teacher but me and mr valentine actually like were able to build like a good relationship where like i could tell him like i am actually scared or i really don't get this you need to explain to me like i am five <laughs> and sometimes it would, it would be difficult to grasp the concept of it but i still asked you know just because like it's better to ask than to stay silent and for me at least as a student and in that class towards the end like units eight nine ten i don't know um i started doing really good in my exams um i used to believe that i couldn't trust me people know that i'd be like i can't do this class like it's too hard i can't do math da, da, da. And as time went by, and I started, I, mm, here's a little fact about me, like, I tend to not believe in myself a lot, but when I do, I will shine brighter than a diamond. Um, and that's actually really exciting because I know that I have it in me just for some reason, like, my little brain's like, you can't do it, but I can do it. I can do it and this just kind of proved all of that that's why this means a lot to me and um so yeah in that class like i was able to maintain my a's good job like i worked for that class i'm not saying that i didn't work for all the other classes because i did but to me that was the one that i had to like put more effort into um the other class that was difficult as well was biology so that was ap as well and oh lord like I would ask Miss Elliot, that was my bio teacher, I would ask her, like, what does this mean? How do you do this? And, like, she'd answer me, and I'd be like, and she'd be like, do you get it? And I'm like, yeah, I get it. No, I did not get it. I did not. <laughs> I would walk out of that class so confused, so frustrated, so drained, because I had um, bio and then calculus. So um, bio was, like, cells and all of this, and how does, like, freaking, I don't know, do you see? I kind of already forgot um it took a lot for me like in that class like mentally because i really try to understand especially because like bio is really important or science is really important for me to know for my career um and then i would like jump right into calculus and honestly like a lot of like students in my school had um the same schedule as me and hopefully like they know that how hard or how like annoying or like how tired our brain was like after those two like classes and um well yeah in that class i also remember that i would come in during lunch before an exam and like ask her and also i would also talk to some peers on like oh do you understand this da, da, da. we would help each other right like it was a team effort like within um some students and me and then when it came to the test i still did bad <laughs> surprise um but because i went to go talk to miss elliot before and like gain a little more insight on some concepts i was able to answer some questions better compared to if i didn't talk to her before you know so like instead of earning a 12 out of 36 i would earn a 14 out of 36 you know still not good but like i made sure to do all the assignments do the extra credit do all of that in order to kind of balance it out because like you know <laughs> i am really big on just completing the assignment doing it as best as possible because when the test comes like that will probably be what will save your butt if like you know you fail um yeah there was like teachers were very kind as well at gone first like thank you to all of them because they all were very compassionate about what was going on in my life during that and how they could help me i'm not saying they manipulated my grade they did not do that but like they were like patient with me 
yeah they were always very understanding because i would always tell them like this and this and this is happening in my life because it might look like i have a perfect life but nobody got a perfect life trust me we all come with our own battles our baggage our struggles we all have it um some worse than others i'm not trying to say that some people just because they have less it doesn't mean anything because it means something you know i'm not trying to devalue none of you yeah so teachers knew a lot about like what i was going through <sighs> i'm about to turn all depressed on y'all <laughs> no but it was definitely senior year was the toughest year because like personally a lot of things happened with me a lot of punches were given to me and i was like oh no walking not physically not physically but like mentally emotionally it was not good it really wasn't and um well yeah but this is not a video i'm talking about my life and how crazy it is but i actually am very 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 proud of myself i know that i worked for it i know that i earned it because it's not about who deserves it um it honestly is like an algorithm and they do the math and you know like add up the grades and whoever has the highest gpa gets it right oh um congrats to julian because we um actually shared we both had a 4.37 so we shared the valedictorian spot a little we did it and also to yulisa she got the secretarian second highest gpa congrats um but yeah like we all of us all three of us earned that we did that honestly like that's crazy first and second and like even third i think third should be recognized just saying first second and third like of your class well i mean it's not that big of a class but it's also like that's an achievement really that's that's amazing and i'm really proud of all three of us so gaining this title or position or whatever um really boosted up my self-confidence because i now know that i can do whatever i set my mind to you know like i mentioned in sixth grade i was like i can't do that that's too hard like number one pff, what <laughs> and and like I freaking did it i did it that's so crazy ah i don't know well i'm going into like some other world um but you know hard work effort planning communicating with your teachers and just being on top of it really pays off it really does and you know this is my recognition for it and i am very happy so thank you for everyone that congratulated me I love y'all, my supporters, my fans. That's it. Bye. Thank you.